the world's best 10 minute workout. Now that's one hell of a claim to make, but let's see if it holds up to the scrutiny. So what are the characteristics of the world's best 10 minute workout? It hits every major muscle group. There's no equipment needed. In other words, you can do it anywhere. It follows HIT principles, high intensity interval training. The cardio is built into the workout. It can be modified based on your activity and skill and fitness levels. It's just three simple exercises and you're done and dusted in 10 to 12 minutes. So let's get started. The first exercise is the push-up. If you don't know how to do push-ups, check the link in the description below this video for my push-up progressions video to get you started if you're not used to doing push-ups or can't do a full push-up. But we start off with push-ups. Now, the beauty in this workout is that we build the active rest in there. In other words, we don't do an exercise and then stop for two to five minutes. We build the active rest in, and in this case, it's just high knees. We're working the abs, we're keeping the body moving, keeping the breathing and the heart rate at a functional level that is higher than your resting heart rate. So even when you're resting, you're still working. The next exercise that we're going to jump into is mountain climbers. Great for the abs. Also, you're getting constant time under tension through the shoulders and the upper back, constantly loading up the deltoids the pecs and the triceps as well as working the abs you can do these fast in a running motion or you can do them slower really working the contraction through the abs and again after each set we're going to do active rest high knees again and the purpose of this it gives you a break from the intensity but again keeps your heart rate up keeps you moving and it also works your abs and in this case also your psoas muscle your hip flexors and my recommendation for this is do them until you feel comfortable enough to do your next set of active exercise. Now that might be 10 repetitions on each side, 20 repetitions, 30. But the whole point is keep active the whole time, keep your heart rate up, keep your breathing up until you're ready for the next set of exercises, which is squats. So full body weight squats. Now in this video, I'm doing sets of 20 here, but you can vary that up depending on your level of activity and fitness. And also whether you want to do a rapid blast type workout, or you want to do something that builds a bit more endurance into the muscle groups. So like I said, sets of 20 here for me, uh, but you build in what you're used to. So again, if you can't do a full body weight squat, Look into the description below this video and go through the basic progressions to get up to speed. And again, we round out each exercise with the active rest. Keep the heart rate up, keep the body warm. And you notice that going from upper body, core, lower body, the whole principle here is shunting the blood around the body to the active muscle groups. So you're getting a lot more activities from the heart and the circulatory systems to get blood flow from the upper body to the lower body and back again, depending on the exercise that you're doing. So it helps again with your cardiovascular fitness. So as we said, we're building cardio into the whole workout itself. Now, how are you going to do your workouts? Well, there's two styles of doing these here. There's the ballistic or the, the blast workout, which is 10 push-ups. 10 mountain climbers, 10 squats, or whatever is suitable for you, and you're gonna do five circuits. In other words, push-ups, rest, mountain climbers, rest, squats, rest, repeat it again for five circuits, and then at the very end, you're gonna do 10 burpees, and we'll look at those at the end of this video. The other option, like I said, that builds a bit more endurance and stamina, we do 20 push-ups, and then rest, as in your active rest, 20 mountain climbers, that's 20 each side, so 40 mountain climbers in total. Active rest again, 20 squats, active rest, three circuits. Now, if you want something a bit more ballistic, you can build in clap push-ups, you can do plyo squats where you're jumping at the end of the squat, but go through your three circuits and then you're going to finish with 10 to 20 burpees. So what do the burpees look like and why are they so good? I love burpees. In my opinion, burpees are the single best full body exercise because they incorporate a squat, they incorporate a push-up, they incorporate abdominal loading, in other words, working your core, and also 
they put a jump in the end so there's a ballistic there's a plyo part of this it's a great full body exercise massive bang for your buck as in 10 to 20 reps you're getting a full body workout so if you don't have time to do the full workout here just go through one round to warm your body up in other words push-ups mountain climbs and squats and then go into a round of burpees 10 to 20 or until you find your form starting to fail like you're seeing in the end of this set for me that's your workout done and dusted